off their race. Had a good start in the centre. Starship Jubilee came well ahead of the others as they broke. Going through to share second, Holy Helena. Tariga on the inside. Dixie Moon is next on the outside competition of ideas. Against the hedge is Magnetic Charm, who's a length away second last early on, and Giovanna Blues is last, and about seven or eight lengths covers this field. Out in front controlling the pace is Starship Jubilee, the defending champion by three parts of a length. In second, Dixie Moon. One away third to Riga. A length to Holy Helena. One and a half away competition of ideas. A magnetic charm scrubs up on the inside. And on the other is Giovanna Blues. Out in front as they race along with no change, Starship Jubilee leads with about five and a half furlongs to run by length to Dixie Moon, a length away to Riga. On the outside, Holy Helena, competition of ideas, makes a bit of a move now, coming three wide, and tacking on is Giovanna Blues. At the back now, Magnetic Charm is just a length away last, but they're packed up, and only about four or five lengths covers them at best. And they have a half mile to run, and still in front, Starship Jubilee from Dixie Moon in second spot. In the centre, coming through his competition of ideas with Holy Helena the inside. Racing on their radar, Giovanna Blues. Tariga got back, and on the outside in the clear now, Magnetic Charm, as they start the run for home in the Canadian Stakes. And Starship Jubilee has got away. Starship Jubilee's made the break, about three in front. Dixie Moon second, then Holy Helena. Down the outside competition of ideas, and now running his Magnetic Charm in the centre, but well ahead, Starship Jubilee. And they are well out in front here. Starship Jubilee and Luis Contreras has really toyed with them. And this time is going to win the Canadian Stakes with even more of an impressive display. And a big winner, Starship Jubilee by four or five lengths. A very close photo for a second. Competition of ideas and magnetic charm hit it tight. And then Holy Helena, 145.84. winning Starship Jubilee. That is an official result. The defending champion gets to keep her crown as Starship Jubilee repeats in the Canadian. Louise Contreras aboard for conditioner Kevin Attard. On paper, Louise, there was not a lot of pace in this race. What was your game plan going in? Well, yeah, that Kevin and the paddock told me just to let him break and if they let me go to the lead easy enough, years ago, <laughs> and I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is the condition of the course? We did have a lot of rain last night. How did it feel out there? It feels great right now. I can just doesn't doesn't look like it, it rained a lot. Like it was, it's, it's, it's in perfect condition, I think. What's her best asset? Because we've seen her win on the front end. We've seen her come from off the pace as well. I, I guess when you have a good horse, it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, but this one is difficult because I think when when she's behind horses, it's She's kind of tough to make her relax, but once she relaxes and comes home at, from behind, it's, it's, she's very aggressive at the end. But today, the, for the condition of the race and and the feeling, and Kevin bring this horse really, really sharp. I just, I think no matter where you put it, when when the horse is, is this great. Enjoy the victory, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay, let's bring in the coach now. This being Kevin Atar ran great down at Saratoga. Did you get the feeling that she was starting to round into peak form? Yeah, you know, she's been consistent all year. Um, a mile and a quarter is a little a tad far for her, probably not her best. I think a mile and eight kind of hits her squarely in between the eyes there. Uh, so when, when, when we do run her a mile and a quarter, we kind of have to ride her, I think, a little differently. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, like today, there wasn't any pace, and I figured if they were going to let us have the lead, then we would take it. Uh, so, you know, she came off a great race at Saratoga. I thought she ran really well and uh, came back to work well in the interim and uh, she put it all together. Does this make your decision for the next race a little bit difficult because obviously logically the EP Taylor would be the next step here but that is a mile and a quarter so you do, do you kind of throw up a bunch of ideas to try and figure out where you're going to go next? Definitely complicates things uh, you know what I mean with the EP Taylor being in your own backyard uh, it's always very tempting and uh, we'll obviously nominate for it and and hopefully she comes out of the race in good order and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk it over with the owners and then uh, decide from there. Only appropriate one on a Melmanch Retirement Day. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you very much, yes. Okay, there you go. Kevin Attara with Starship Jubilee, one of the best claims that we've seen over recent years in North America.